there's a lot of different ways in which 3D printing um, can be leveraged to help your business. Um, that's something that we'll help you discover throughout the process. Um, but one of those ways in which 3D printing can be uh, really helpful to your business is uh, producing prototypes a lot faster and a lot cheaper. Um, and that's something that we'll be able to prove out doing something called a return on investment with yourselves. Um, but also making production parts now has uh, recently become a possibility. As with uh, Mark Forge 3D printers, you can produce very high strength parts out of composite materials, which have the same kind of mechanical properties to aluminium. So you can replace the production of some parts, but then you can also leverage that technology to replace some of the parts on your production line, like jigs and fixtures. So the, the possibilities are almost endless and it can be a little bit confusing discovering where additive manufacturing is going to sit in your business for yourself. And we Solid Print 3D are here to guide you through that process. So the reason for Solid Print 3D was mainly formed from Solid Solutions customers, needing some extra assistance with their 3D printers. So the idea for Solid Print 3D was really to take uh, your SolidWorks, your, your CAD models, put them through to the print process and give all of the help along the way. May it be from the initial CAD design, making sure it's fit for the printer, all the way across to some extra training or extra tuition via uh, over the phone or in person, and how to get the best out of the printer itself. So we've got a range of training courses looking across different areas of the printers. So we've got our FDM, our SLA, and our design for additive manufacture. These three training courses will help get our customers up to speed of how to use their printers, how to get the most out of them as well. Further from that, we've also got our, our online support. So all, all the support you can go across over the phone, or we can even hop onto screen shares and use these just to make sure you've really got as much information as possible to get the most out of the printers. As the printer itself is partially uh, the machine as well as the software, we can assist with both sides of this, which the training courses, the FDM, the SLA and your design for additive will look into, as well as our actual support side as well. So regardless of whether or not you've got an FDM machine or an SLA machine, they're always going to put down layers. May it be an SLA machine using resin or an FDM machine using filament, they're always going to be controlled by the slicing software. From this, we can run through uh, on support or within the training courses how to actually use the slicing software to get the most out of your printers. Got quite a few different ones out there, but each printer will come with its own specified slicing software already set up for it. May it be Cura for Ultimaker or Preform for Formlabs. With 3D printing, there's not really one 3D printer that you know does everything perfectly. Uh, depending on the application, you'll want to go with a different 3D printer. So whether you're looking to make a very large part or maybe a part with a lot of intricate detail with really good surface finish or maybe a part uh, that needs to be very high strength, um, you will be looking at a different set of 3D printers. So for our high strength engineering parts, we'll be making those on Mark Forge 3D printers. Parts that need to be very big, you know, we'll be making those on a large format 3D printer, which is our big rep 3D printers. You know, parts where, you know, you ha maybe have a very specific material that you need to be making the parts in, we'll be making those on our Ultimaker 3D printers. If you're looking to just get into 3D printing, then uh, Sindo 3D printers are a really good one to get started on because of the price point. Um, if you're also looking to make parts a little bit bigger and you want you know, a huge range of materials, then the Ray's 3D printers are really good for that as well. And uh, if you are looking to make those um, very precise parts uh, with really good surface finish and you want to capture a lot of really small amounts of detail, then you'll be wanting to use uh, Formlabs for that kind of print. Um, but what we do at Solid Print 3D is we guide you through that process and uh, we'll help you in discovering what sort of 3D printer is going to be best for your application. So you can also request a free 3D printed sample from us. So the idea behind this was so we can help prove why 3D printers would be a good fit for your company uh, by offering the chance to take one of your models, maybe you're getting already done uh, on a bureau service, or maybe by injection molding, whatever it might be. By getting this printed, we can show a direct comparison and see if it actually will fit into your company well. If you're considering getting into 3D printing and you want to bring additive manufacturing to your business, uh, the best port of call is myself. Um, you know, we have a lot of procedures in place and um, 
you know, we'll do a site visit with yourself potentially if you're considering going for an industrial level 3D printer. Um, and through that, we'll be able to uh, help you along that process in finding out what is going to be the best 3D printer for that application. So throughout the course of the year, we'll be running some customer events. Inside these is a really good way to have a look at the printers, some of the live demos we'll be running through. We'll have a look at some of the features of the printers, we'll open up some STL files, show how you can put them through to the printer, and explain some of the actual details and features of how the print's going to come out and how you can actually use them if you were to go through with the printer purchase.